today. What kind of player is he? And are you disappointed that he won't be with you this season? Well, firstly, we're, we're absolutely delighted to sign him because I, I genuinely think he has the real potential to go on and be a world-class young player. Um, I've seen him as a young player playing for the national teams and coming through, seeing his quality and then see that grow and develop and playing the World Cup where he showed, you know, a lot of his qualities. I just think it's a, it's a great signing for the football club. Of course, as a manager, you know, he's someone that could really have helped us this season. You know, 19 years of age, six foot two, he's quick, he can score goals, strong. Um, but we, we knew part of the deal was that he, he was going back to Leilon Lawn. So, uh, but the overriding feeling is that we're absolutely delighted to have a, a young player who potentially can be a star over the coming years. Uh, you're playing Manchester City tomorrow night. You're also playing them in the second week of the season. Would you almost prefer that you were playing them later in the season? And also, would you make them favourites for the title this season? I'm not too bothered about where we play them. You know that this is a you, know, you have to play every team twice. In a way, that's the that's the reality. I think but, um, for us, you know, we're, we're happy to play them at the beginning of the season. Of course, we play in the tournament. There's some really good teams in the tournament. We know it's going to be an excellent season. And I think that when you when you're the champions, rightly so, you go into the next season as the as the favourites. You know, they were champions last year. They're the most consistent team, they picked us by a couple of points, so they will be the benchmark for next year. I think you've signed six players this summer. Uh, last summer Spurs signed seven players and they had problems integrating them into their squad. Is there a danger at all that that might happen here? Not at all. No, it's a different club, it's a different vision that we have here at Liverpool. There's a, there's a strategy behind what we're doing. You know, we, you know, when we were talking a lot last season right the way through with the recruitment team we knew that we had to you know, that was one of the objectives for the for the summer was that we had to improve the depth of our squad you know clearly we were not strong enough last year in terms of depth and numbers and in quality so we were always earmarked in the summer to bring in a number of players in the, in the hope last season that we would be in the Champions League and then that would give us the opportunity to challenge on all fronts so um, the players that we're bringing in, they have clear profiles in terms of what we want them to play, what their role is, you know, at present, and obviously we see them as young players that can really develop in the future as well. So, uh, so no, I would say that the two are, are totally different. It's going to be like playing against your uh, brother tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, fun, you know, because he's a good player, you know. And, been playing with him and play against him, you know. It's gonna be really, really good, and I will try to challenge him and try to win the game. That's what I'm going to do. No, the the, the preseason is great, you know. We've been working really hard, you know, and we are preparing the season, and we want to do as well as we can, you know. And every competition gonna be very important for us, and we will give all in every game and uh, see what we can achieve. Different. Would you specifically want to improve with the number of goals on the side? Um, is there a certain numeric that you have in your sights this season, whether it be um, less goals conceded or another improvement in points? Is there a certain numeric on your mind that you have? No, no, I think it was very clear last summer because I felt that in order to, to reach the top four, I felt that we needed to have more goals. And you're right, you know, the, the improvement over two seasons in terms of the goals for was, was incredible. So the idea is to continue with that theme. You know, I don't like to put a number on it exactly. Certainly as a team, we have to be better defensively. You know, across the board, we can see 51 goals. But a team that scored 101 goals, it's, it's not good enough. I mean, no, that, that's something that we'll, uh, we'll certainly be better at this season. So, uh, so I think on both fronts, offensively, to continue with that freedom in our game to, to create and score goals, but always with tactical discipline in order to stop goals, and that's something that uh, we, we will focus on for sure. First of all, it's, we always go very well received when we come here. My first pre-season was out here in America two years ago, and I absolutely loved it. 
provide a great platform for our work. Um, as I said, I always the service in America is incredible. The hotels you go, everywhere. You know the training grounds, people can't do enough for you. So I think that's also what attracts people out, you know, because the, the warmth that you receive when you get here. We as a football club, we have an obligation because we are Liverpool. And this is one of the biggest clubs in the world. So for us to come here, there's no hardship to come out here and reach out to some of our great supporters. Our concentration is always football. But as I said, we have an obligation to support and, uh, and meet you know, a lot of our great supporters out here. And I think your game has definitely improved as well. I think you know, we were training in some facilities since we've been here, they've been excellent. You know, Princeton, we were there today. And brilliant facility, the pitches are superb. So, uh, so I think it provides a great base for teams to come and, uh, and work on the field. And hopefully, as I said, we uh, provide a great platform for the season going forward. Example. We've been planning for this for six months. We haven't just turned up. You know, we've been working away six months ago. Our football club, commercially, the, the main objective for us is football. That's always clear in how I work. Everything else fits around that. And then Callow will tell you the balance in our trips here is, is very much football based. And like I said earlier, we have an obligation to our supporters and to our partners at the, at the club who support the club financially to, uh, to embrace them. So there's no sh hardship. We've been to some wonderful cities a few days in Chicago, which was great. Played a game. Very good. Been to Boston. It's been brilliant. Come to one of the greatest cities in the world. We look forward to being here. And then we'll move on finally to Charlotte. So for us, it's, it's no chore. It's, it's been great to be here.